tell you a funny story. This old lady was making patties like that, and they were made from choke cherries. Everybody have any choke cherry patties? You ever have choke cherry patties? Do you have any choke cherries here? Okay, that might be something to consider next year. The Guaym Nana. The Guaym Nana. That's what they're called. We call them. But uh, it's a medicine. Anybody here ever have a cold? Anybody ever have pneumonia? Yeah. Choke cherries is for the upper part, you know, the top part where the leaves are and the branches. You break it four directions. Tie it together. Put it in a pot and boil it and drink it. It has a really dark red color and that'll help you with the flu. Now, if you're really sick, I've never tried it. If you got pneumonia, guess which part do you use? Hmm? The root? Yeah, the root. The root is the strongest part of any medicine. Like carrots are good for you. Beets are good for you, right? Anything that grows under soil. It's a really healthy, healthy medicine, healthy plant. So, where was I going with that? Oh, the Guaymnana, choke cherry patties. So, you know, they were picking season is about July. Choke cherries, July, they're, end of July. They start picking them. And then you get two rocks. Like, let's see. Yeah, there's, so this to imagine, okay? And this to imagine, this is a uh, choke cherries. And then you scrape them, yeah, you pound them and you scrape them to the side and you put them on the pot. You might fry them with grease, you know, just to have a little taste. But once you get a nice little pile, you make a nice little patty. Put it on the window cell, dry. And that's just a straight patty. There's no grease in it, nothing in it. It's just straight choke cherry. And it's really healthy, really healthy. That stuff is really delicious. But you gotta make sure you got bear grease, elk grease or moose grease with it. One time, these two hunters, they went by grandmothers and they saw these choke cherries. And this one guy, the hunter, the grandmother's son says, you know, knew her, knew about the choke cherry patties. If you don't take them with uh, grease, you know, something could happen very drastic. So his friend, he didn't know about that. He was so ravenous. He knew he smelled this tobacco, you know, choke cherry patties. So he started eating it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. And grandmother was warning, you got some stay meat. Said, don't eat too much. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon he had about three or four of them, you know. It was their rice patties. Oh, they were so good. Oh. Off he goes into the, off to go hunting. And uh, it's moose hunting season. It's in the fall, right? And uh, there's one hunter that ate the chook cherry patties, started having stomach uh, problems, you know. Oh, oh, my stomach, oh. And so he said, I have to go to the bathroom, you know. So he went over there into the bush, you know, and he had, you know, there's a bush here and a bush here. So he's hanging onto the bush and it's shaking, you know. <laughs> it's shaking away, trying to go to the bathroom. And, and while he's shaking away, he's going like this. Ooh, ooh, you know, making this sound. And guess who comes along? A moose. You know, he thinks it's another moose shaking its slanters on the bushes. <laughs> I think there's a challenger out there. <laughs> Ooh, that's his hunter, right? He can't go to the bathroom. 
he got constipated. So this other guy says, sees this moose coming and so he gets his gun ready yeah? and beg, begs his moose, eh? he legs his moose. And he's really thankful that his partner was calling the moose, eh? <laughs> Say, said, oh, my brother is good at calling the moose. <laughs> so he finally came out. Oh, boy, that was hard. I finally got it out. You know? <laughs> oh, I thought you were calling the moose. <laughs> he didn't even know. <laughs> That's an old, old story from North Battleford. But, you know, after that, that guy knew what to do, you know.